my name is Redbrain and today we are talking about the general interface. But more specifically, we're going to talk more about the tool presets. So if you have no idea what tool presets are, they are amazing and you should go watch this video to learn more about the basics. But now I'm going to take this knowledge and just push it a bit further because you know what, I have time this week. So, tool presets. We've learned how to use them with the pencil, we've learned how to use them with the brush, but did you know you can also use them with other tools such as the paint buckets, you can use them with the eraser, you can also use them with the cutter tool, so that's why we're gonna cover it today. So whenever I clean up, like on like a daisy or mystery school or whatever the gigs I work on, sometimes when I clean up with the pencil, I want to cut my edges with a cutter that makes round edges, like that. Boop, boop, boop. And it makes round edges. Sometimes, however, instead of round edges for a certain style, maybe I want to get some flat style, like these. And I cut and it does something like this. And sometimes, maybe I want to get something that is in the style of a bevel, like this. It really depends on what you're working on, and also sometimes it depends on what pieces of the drawing you're looking, you're working on. Let me explain. Sometimes when you clean up, for example, if I clean up a cat's tail, and I do like a cat tail shape like this. Maybe as I go, I want to use the round to maybe cut it from the body like this. And that works great for me. But sometimes if I'm doing like the stripes inside of the tail and I do them in a bit of a more heavy line weight, if I use the round cutter, you're going to see that it's going to go overboard, which is not what I want. So the reason why it's going overboard is because if I look at my line with my pencil editor, I see that this green part here is going over. So if instead of using a round cutter for the insides, I used a cutter that was flat, I wouldn't have this problem. I'm gonna show you here. Because if I look at my pencil tool here, um, I don't have the same bulge that I had in the past. But if I use this bevel line to clean up a shape, um, I'm stuck with sometimes this look that is not very pleasing. All right, so for the contour, maybe I wanna use a bevel or a round style so bevel would be like that and round would be like this so depending on what you're using you might want to use two different kinds of cutter for two different kind of jobs so if i'm using my cutter for example i can choose to have a round cutter like here go into my tool presets and make a tool presets for my cutter and this could be the round cutter and if i want to i i would make myself an icon that shows it's round because the cutter doesn't have <laughs> other icons um it doesn't have a color and stuff, so I could also set it to a shortcut if I want to, which is usually what I do. But for the tutorial, I won't go into that because it's a bit too long for nothing. So this would be my round. It's gonna show up if I put my cursor on top of it. And then if I go take my cutter and I set it to bevel or flat, I'm gonna set it to flat. I'm gonna go here, make a new tool preset and call this one flat. And then if I put my cursor on it, it shows me flat. If I use this and I click on them, it's going to change my cutter from a round to a flat style. So this was very useful in Lucky Daisy since we had a lot of focus on the line weight. It prevented me from having a headache each time I needed to cut the tails and stuff. So I would use a round cutter for shapes that were outside of the character and I would use a flat cutter for the shapes that were inside to make sure I didn't have any bulge or things coming out of the outline of the character. Not only can you use that on the cutter, I also used it a lot on the paint bucket. You know, before I said that I also used it on my pencil to kind of have my lines already set up with the right pencil and stuff. This is very useful. But with the bucket, it's even better. So let's say I'm doing the work on Ivy's face, for example, here. I have the face that's brown, the eye that's yellow, the inside that's black, and the nose. So instead of always constantly going back and forth in my color, I would take the bucket. I would associate it with one of the color of the palette of the character. So for example, I would take my skin color, get my bucket, set it to the settings that I needed. I would go into my tool presets, maybe call it the Ivy skin. And of course you could give it its own icon. I did not, it didn't bother. And then I would give it maybe a shortcut. Then it was very fast for me to clean up because instead of maybe picking the colors going there, I knew exactly that like the skin was one, the nose was two, the eye was three, and I could just click on my numbers on my keyboard and I could just like clean that thing so fast. So that is also very useful. And of course you can set it up with your erasers as well. It's the same. You could just choose what eraser you want and even the stamp tool. You can also use it with a stamp tool. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew about uh, this very useful trick. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful week. See you next time. Goodbye.